Welcome to Mike's Matthews podcast thing. That's right. That's what it's called. It's called Mike's Daily Podcast. And here we are at episode 2055. I don't know if you feel alive. I do. That's why I'm able to podcast today. What a week it's been. And yesterday, I must say, we had the wonderful, lovely lady friend on, and we had a fun time. Mike's Daily Podcast. Discussing the world in which we live, and about those unemployment Mike's numbers Daily that were so good Podcast. yesterday. Yeah! Apparently today, uh, well, it doesn't look like... They were exactly true. A misclassification error made the May unemployment rate look better than it actually is. Uh Uh-oh. I don't think that's going to be good with the stock market on Monday. Let's see. It came out on Friday yesterday. It included a note on the bottom saying there had been a major error indicating that the unemployment rate likely should be higher than the widely reported 13.3%. The overall unemployment rate would have been three percentage points higher than reported, meaning the unemployment rate would be, oh, huh, let's see. Well, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the agency that puts out the monthly jobs report, said it was working to fix the problem. Some took this as a sign that President Trump or one of his staffers may have tinkered with the data to make it look better. That's what's going to be annoying for the stock market, I think, on Monday. The uh, So especially since most forecasters had predicted the unemployment rate would be closer to 20%. So up from 14.7% and it actually went lower. So what the heck? I guess we'll find out more on Monday. Right, so it's only... And here's today's podcast picture. Did I ever tell you I'm horrible with numbers? So at any rate, that's not a big deal. At the moment, all is calm on the podcast Row Valley front. Oh, it looks like Joe Biden has finally clinched the Democratic presidential nomination. So all those people that make fun of Trump, that want him voted out, now they're going to have Joe Biden to vote for. Basil the Boxer... Doesn't know what to vote for He's so confused I know Basil I know it's confusing as heck Apparently he's back to eating again Basil is not Biden But Basil And that's good Because he was having some kind of issue With his throat Earlier this week And now he seems to be doing a little bit better Lots of rest And just being loved by his Basil family so I guess today's podcast is going to kind of it's going to do a little bit with uh oh wow the cases of coronavirus in India oh Iraq Iraq faces record spike in coronavirus cases uh and that India's coronavirus cases have per- surpassed Italy's at this point hmm Well, this podcast today is going to kind of go zip around a little bit, jump up and down, do all this stuff that apparently Pink, if you are a big Instagram follower of Pink, she was like, let's work out. And she brought on her personal trainer on and they did a workout on their Instagram page. And it was all to get past the craziness of the past week. And Pink... Standing up for Black Lives Matter Standing against The white racism The white uh, The white racists The white The people The racists with the white colored skin Let's say That were uh, Police officers that were doing The terrible things we've been hearing so much about And She apparently had a lot of people who Stand up to her And say I'm not going to follow you anymore and she said to those people, I say, 
I very much say goodbye to you. Bon voyage. And then she sang a pink song. Like uh, the one, let's get this party started because the people are gone. I don't know, something like that. Did I mention it's FF episode 2055? And I watched my lovely lady friend, Seth Myers, doing his little uh, spiel, his little monologue at the top of the show. And then I compared that with Stephen Colbert. It's very interesting the difference between the two. Because Seth Myers very quickly goes through all the stories, keeps hit, he hits the punchlines really fast. Like he's doing a quick run through. Like he's not actually trying to deliver the jokes And I don't know if that's because He doesn't have an audience It also looks like he's doing it in front of his daughter Who then comes out and hits the the desk top with her drumsticks Like but um bumps When he does the jokes, some of the jokes And that's cute But to compare that with Stephen Colbert Who does the little pauses And to wait for he, he waits a beat to know That that's where Usually the audience would laugh Or the audience would groan or whatever And he, he can imagine it's, it's the timing That Stephen Colbert knows Is way better I think than the Seth Myers. But what do I know They're both on television And I am not I am on a podcast That no one listens to Wah. The podcast picture today though Let's go with something from yesterday. I think we went four years back. Maybe we should do <laughs> uh, two years ago. Basil the Boxer and I went for a walk up in the upper part of Lake Chabot. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Pod Castro Valley, Mont. Today, oh my gosh, I buried the lead, everyone. The barriers, I should have a podcast picture of the barriers in Pleasanton today. Oh my word, they they really have blocked off the mall, which I guess they have to in these times because there were threats of looters coming in and. Doing bad things to the mall It's just I guess the point of my story yesterday When I was talking And lovely lady friend was there Is that I th- As much attention as we're trying to pay To how police officers are treating The public Like for example that 70 something year old man Was that in Buffalo, New York That just got pushed down and he Bam, hit the back of his head so bad You probably saw the video And then the police officers just kept walking past him And then a bunch of um, Police officers were Suspended because of that And then because of that Something like 60 police officers said Oh, we're we're boycotting the police department We're, We're striking basically As they Well, striking That's the figurative word, isn't it? Police officers and striking people So I know that shines a spotlight on the bad that police officers do. On the good that police officers do, there were police officers in uniform in the riot gear in Atlanta that were like, you know what? We are going to try and defuse the situation. They did the Macarena right there in front of the protesters, and and some of the protesters joined in with them. Trying to defuse the situation. It's all about trying to defuse, isn't it? And all the craziness that's going on But just the The way that Guy that It was a white protester I guess he had been known to protest To be in peaceful protests Throughout his life He's still alive but he's like in critical condition As of this recording And was just pushed down By these police officers And they look just so callous as they walk past And it's just unnerving To see that And why, why, and my lovely lady friend points out, well, this has always happened, Mike. You can't be naive. Okay, I get that. But that still doesn't mean I'm not going to be shocked when I see that. 
And it should shock you And it should inspire people to make change And not just go, well, that's always happened You've got to make it so it's not happening anymore Well, Mike, they've always tried to stop it from happening And it still happens Well, let's try, dang it Another song that Pink does You can have to try, 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 try Try, you have to try in this Wait, the song says she. Uh, you don't have to try But I say you do have to try Dang it It's frustrating But Mike, it's always been frustrating ah, Why is that an excuse? It's not an excuse So let's diffuse it, shall we? Let's look at this podcast picture I like this very odd looking uh, Oh I think we'll use this podcast picture Of the Um Ah, uh, I am not finding anything good today. It's one of those days, like Tuesday last week. Tuesday was a day where it just seemed I could not get my bearings or the bearings straight. On the bearing straight, where you never been on the bearing straight, but I couldn't get my bearings straight. Is what I'm trying to say. And today, I can't seem to find a podcast picture It'll be something And you'll see it at mikesdailypodcast.com How about that? Oh, how about this? A look over um, the lovely What used to be Cole Canyon Lake It's now Cole Canyon Creek And all the wildflowers are blooming See that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com That's all I could find at the moment We're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley the last place on earth Let's say hi to some people Hello Michael Mash It's Mada Rutabaga And yes we should Diffuse the situation Oh That's all I'm trying to say So you agree with me Yes And you and I should go get a Tommy Burger Yes Is there a Tommy Burger close by? No That's right Because we're in Northern California Not Southern California Down there There, there are Tommy Burgers And they put this weird chili on top of them And they're oh so goopy and delicious And I have a craving for one right now And it's probably a good thing I'm nowhere near one Because I don't think they're there that, that good for you Scones are not that good for you either But that was the name of the last show I think today's show will be Diffuse And let's see Let's, uh, let's get confused And say hi to these guys Hello there Mike This is Valentino the parking Ding ding and it's a bison family. Do you know that? Mike, it appears that people are trying to make things better in this world. But there are people that sometimes have the backlash day. And I think we all need to work together day. Yeah, work together. Do you know that? Excellent. And maybe we do that by laughing. That's why I watched... The Seth Myers and the Stephen Colbert Yeah, and I think lovely lady Finn was right That Stephen Colbert has the better Trump But that's because he doesn't zip through it He commits to it Where Seth Myers doesn't seem to commit He just kind of zips through everything Talks really fast I don't understand that Ah, oh, that's the biggest problem in the world right now Is Seth Myers. No, it's not Obviously Okay, so Here's what we're going to do We're going to not cut people off on the roads. We're going to call up a friend today. We're going to think positive and think about change and think about a better world and commit to it and do one thing, one positive thing, all of us, to help make that dream come true. How about that? And how about we end today's podcast because that's all the... Good I can do for today But I'll try and do some more tomorrow You can tell me what you think about all this 336MM daily 3 plus 3 equals 6MM As in Mike Matthews daily As in what this podcast Will try to continue to be Because we've been doing it for a couple days Sometimes I get interrupted But tell your friends about the podcast And make sure to go to this particular website That A-Frame will tell you about right now Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at 
MikeSteelyPodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, hey, and just because I almost forgot to tell you, I'm going to tell you now. KKDV, I'll be on tomorrow morning till afternoon. 9 till 5, what a way to make a living. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. You'll hear me on KKDV.com. You can listen to that through the Radio.com app. There's the radio. Yeah, is that what it is? And also my podcast is on there. Kind of, you have to look it up through my name, Mike Matthews. But yes, ninety-two point one FM in the Contra Costa County area, or you can listen to it online at kkdb.com. And the link is also there at mikesteelypodcast.com.